Ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention, please? We'd like to start our presentation. Um, I, I know it's an inconvenient interruption to your drinking, <laughs> but um, I think we have some pretty interesting and exciting information to share with you tonight, and we'd like to, um, to take the time to do the presentation. I'm Phil O'Reilly. I'm the, uh, the vice president for the federal group at Brocade Communications, and um, I have a lot of my team here today. Uh, we have uh, a strong role to play with FCA. We uh, participate in a lot of FCA events. We really appreciate what FCA brings to the table, gathering a community like this um, to share ideas about improving um, services in our federal government. Um, I'd like to thank our partners tonight, Black Box Technology and Emix, who helped sponsor this event. And um, we have a long-standing relationship with both of them, and we're delighted that they've been able to participate with us. So what are we doing here tonight? The title, as you can see, is called Securing the Edge. The notion that um, you can safely execute modern technology across a network by focusing on your data center technology is a, a bit of an antique idea. Taxpayers, citizens, warfighters today create and consume technology primarily by accessing those networks through an incredible variety of devices. It's called the Internet of Things by many people. It is a whole set of technologies which are continuously evolving. And they go beyond the human interface to the network. They include the sensor technologies that are in the marketplace today. They include cameras. They include non-traditional data sources like social media. There is a lot of input into the network. And the, inter in the interaction between that edge and the network itself is as important a part of the network to understand and secure. Um, tonight, we're pleased the Government Business Council is here with us. Um, they've looked at the questions around how does the federal government see the securing of these devices, this data, this interaction from the edge of the network. And tonight they're gonna to be sharing the preliminary results from the surveys that we've been doing. And um, hopefully we'll get some interaction here. I would ask you to uh, silence your cell phones if you could, but don't turn them off. Um, they're gonna be, uh, there's a questionnaire, you can see there's a couple of iPads over there. Uh, we would ask you to please participate in the survey. It's not closed yet. We're trying to uh, gather as much possible data as we can. And um, we'll be sharing that later on at our booth over at the, at the show, as well as making the, the results of the survey available to you publicly. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Nick McCluskey. Nick represents Government Business Council. He is the Director of Research and Strategic Insights. Nick leads the team that studies these issues around uh, technology, and his team engages regularly with a uh, huge variety of, of uh, federal customers. Um, he's dedicated to finding out how these topics affect all of us and the services that we consume and use from the gov federal government. So, Nick, without further ado, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Phil. So Government Business Council is a small segment of the Government Executive Media Group. We are the independent research wing and we're undertaken by Brocade to look into this study, specifically targeting the edge of the network uh, data security. Uh, the survey has been in the field since January 10th. Thus far we have 385 federal responses. Um, and the majority of our responses are from people who are in senior positions, so GS-13 and above. Uh, additionally, we also have a very large uh, segment of our respondent pool that are in the DOD or active duty military. And so these are essentially the high-level manager positions uh, in the government network. Uh, government Business Council has access to government executives, a uh, wide range of the subscribers. So we're able to talk to people who subscribe to Government Executive, Defense One, NextGov, all those publications. So the topic of our study was how do people see the security of the Internet of Things, specifically as it relates to the edge of the network, uh, as Phil alluded to. And for the most part, the results were really interesting. 
because I think that essentially people understand that this is an issue, but they don't understand how to solve it. So security is a top priority for people in the federal government. They understand that this needs to be prioritized above other attributes when they're deploying in the field. However, and this is I think the slide that probably concerned Phil the most, is essentially that many people feel that their current way of securing their network is by securing their core data center network, the core infrastructure. Um, others feel that they should be secured more closely at the edge of the network, not focusing on the data centers. Some feel that both should be done, and a large percentage of them feel that there's no current strategy in place. For the most part, people recognize that edge security is critical. Um, and this is a top two slide. So of people who were asked the question, um, when it comes to fulfilling your agency's mission, how important is these two items here? These are the, the percentage of respondents who answered either very important or extremely important on a five-point scale. So 66% felt that the ability to capture and share information from device to use at the field or in remote locations was uh, very important to them. And ensuring such devices used at the edge are secure, 84%, more than four and five felt that way. However, uh, very few of our respondents were confident that the devices at the edge were secure. In fact, only 47% felt that their edge devices uh, were secure. Now, why do they feel this way? Or what was causing the, uh, the stoppage? What was, what was preventing them from having this security? Well, these were the items that people identified as being the top challenges that they faced when trying to push the security of the edge of the network. Now, if you took our online poll, uh, there are similar items. So I think it would be interesting to see uh, at Brocade's booth later in the week to see how your responses differed from those of the government audience. But slow procurement process, insufficient funding to invest in IoT security, lack of technical expertise, and abil inability to adapt as new threat threats emerge were the top responses among our respondent pool. When we asked how much security is needed, uh, fortunately, 74% felt that the edge security should be as safe yeah, as CFC core infrastructure. Now, that does mean that 26% felt that it did not merit as much uh, security as core security infrastructures, which is concerning given that the uh, threat vector of the edge is just as bad as the, uh, the core. Germany and all those other places did not want to have something that had that. Overall, uh, federal respondents in our pool favored having a standard uh, policy that rather than having a um, agency by agency approach to this problem. So this is the very minor interactive portion. Okay. So how many people in the room are familiar with the Commercial Solutions for Classified program? All right, so it looks like maybe a fifth of you. So the majority of our audience is unfamiliar uh, with the CSFC, um, which is concerning because a lot of what the CSFC does is address the very problems that are being brought up by this edge security issue. So we also asked respondents, well, if you're unfamiliar with the CSFC, um, what about these different attributes of the CSFC? Um, what about uh, more rapid deployment of automated security updates and vulnerability patches, or protecting the most sensitive data with a government design system um, while allowing for less important or less sensitive data to be secured with a commercial system. Well, they strongly favored those approaches, which is essentially what the CSFC does. So I'll turn it over to Phil again to talk a little bit more about the CSFC um, and how it can help uh, government contractors and government uh, uh, agencies better secure their network. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. You know, I've been in this business a long time, 40 plus years. And I think what you see here tonight is indicative of a problem that we have in the government. It's this notion that if it's not created by the government, it's not a usable solution. So we have a clearly identified problem, a very broad consensus on the solution. And we have a solution in place that through true lack of ignorance is not readily deployed in the marketplace. 
CSFC was a construct created by the NSA. It's a layered approach to allowing commercial, commercially available technology to be applied to solve security problems, particularly with regard to edge access. There are a set of criteria. There's a set of technologies that are identified and approved to do this. This is obviously not for the highest level security, but it represents a very clear intermediate opportunity to solve some of these problems around securing the Internet of Things while we're working on the actual edge technology and embedding security into it. Um, this is not a problem that Brocade necessarily has a unique solution. In fact, almost every player in the marketplace has an offering which can be com uh, compliant and be deployed against the CFC layered approach. So our goal here tonight was try to expose you to the, an opportunity to rapidly and safely consider technologies that exist in the marketplace to solve real problems that we have today. We have a lot of government people here today. We have a lot of technologists here today. Isn't it kind of remarkable when you look at these slides to realize how few people understand this program exists, this opportunity exists. It's been in the marketplace for nearly six years. And it's really been poorly adopted, poorly understood by the government community. So part of our goal here tonight was to expose you to this and also expose you to the issues associated with the edge and the growing problem of security and access. And the fact that right now we see those as mutually incompatible aspects of networks. I'll tell you a story. Um, I, my mother-in-law lives with me. She's 82 years old, right? Um, she lives in the basement of her house. That's not a comment on my mother-in-law. <laughs> she came up to dinner a couple of months ago, and she sat at the table, and she said, man, the Social Security website sucks. It's really slow, and it's hard to fill out forms and stuff like that. Understand what you just heard. You heard an 82-year-old woman complaining about web access. We think of this as a millennial's problem. It is not a problem of millennials. This is a problem that is basically across the entire spectrum of people that consume technology from the federal government. And the expectation that's been created that they're going to have an Amazon Web Services-like experience through a government website, through whatever method they choose to interact. If we don't begin the process of securing that access and creating a flexible, user-centric, user-friendly environment, ultimately, the federal government's going to be left behind. This topic is one that's being explored extensively here and in other FCA conferences. It's a topic of discussion across many fora, and I would suggest that you could get involved in them. I would recommend that maybe if you have a chance, stop by our booth over at the West Show. Uh, we have several displays there to show you some very interesting automated security solutions that are built around concepts like CSFC. Um, for those of you that registered, the final report will be sent to you probably in, in sometime in the March time frame. Okay? And um, we would ask you to keep this conversation going. I'm struck by the Trump, Trump administration's approach to solving problems, technology problems. Instead of making policy statements, they seem very oriented, oriented towards taking discrete steps and from those steps implying a policy. I think as a community, we have the opportunity to take advantage of this appetite in this new administration and maybe begin this process of exploring applying technology. I, would, I was going to say 19th century technology to a 21st century problem. In any case, we appreciate your time and your participation tonight. The bar is open. There's food. And we would um, offer you all the opportunity to continue the conversation with many Brocadians who are here tonight. So thank you very much and enjoy your evening.